Yes, John Nesma Kaud was born and raised in the Pacific Northwest after her parents moved from Gaza. She says since a little girl, she's felt the pain of her relatives still there, but never saw conflict on the level we're seeing now. Instant like terror filled me like I knew what was going to happen. Nesma Kaud reliving her visceral reaction to October 7th. 2023. Hamas and several other Palestinian militant groups launched a major attack on Israel. Nesma's family saw this unfold in real time. They were there when it started, so they were kind of trapped there, and it took about two months for them to even finally be able to get out. Her mother's side of the family is still living in Gaza. She can only communicate with them through infrequent messages. Well, when they do speak to us, they're devastated. There's no food. There's no, you know, clean water. They're living in a tent on, you know, in the Moasi area on the beach. It's not a life that anyone should be living. There are thousands of families just like Nesma's. Grassroots collective Operation Olive Branch is dedicated to amplifying their voices and helping Palestinians meet their basic needs even while living in terror. The organization got started two months ago by a group of people on TikTok to make it easier for people around the world to help. What more can we do to help besides educational content? So whenever families started reaching out to us and saying, you know, we have GoFundMes and we desperately need help getting out, we were like, okay, well, let's let's highlight these GoFundMes. Let's ask people to donate what they can. So far, Operation Olive Branch has helped 50 families evacuate. Nesma hopes her family in Gaza can be next and is working to raise $70,000 to make it happen. Any amount to be able to get these families out would be like literally life-saving.